So I got about 12 years out of the tank on my gas boosted solar hot water system made by Chromogen. This brand is Israeli made and it is popular in Perth, maybe other states as well, because of its low price point with home builders. I can't afford to replace the system yet, um, so I'm just going to do a bypass trick. Um, but out of interest, I just wanted to have a look at the sacrificial anode. I have changed it about five years ago. Um, this is the one that's in there currently. There's still plenty of material on it. But as you can see, there's uh, a lot of dissolved solids in the water in this area, which is no doubt a contributing factor. I must say that anode is massive. The one that was in there before was half the size. That's it there from five years ago. That there is presumably mainly uh, lime, calcium, that kind of thing. 70% of Perth's water does come from the ground. So that's probably where it's coming from. With that many dissolved solids in the water, I don't think I could even use a stainless steel tank in this area because that kind of muck is just going to destroy the welds on a stainless steel tank. So I've disconnected the tank now, it's basically drained, uh, it's just sitting there now. At some stage I will dispose of it. And that's the bypass I have done. I've just purchased two fittings and PEX pipe from Bunnings. And the cold water is going straight into the small instantaneous heater. So at least I have hot water for the time being and it's no longer an emergency. But I will replace the system a bit later. I'm just interested to see how much my gas bill goes up. Is it even worth having the solar setup? We will see.